Welcome, everyone. Uh, hello, and we are here at the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. Thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Margherita Getti, and I am the next WAVE programmer. Uh, and on behalf of JFI, I hope you've been enjoying getting together as a community to uh, watch films and, and listen to conversations and, and spend time with each other online or in person. If you're here, you've probably just watched the Next Wave Spotlight, Wet Dog. Next Wave is a program dedicated to our 18 to 35 demographic, and we were immediately inspired by the choice in the film uh, of letting a group of teenagers act out themes and questions that have a much wider resonance for all of us beyond politics and age. So I'd like to welcome our guests today. Um, you can probably recognize some of their faces from their film, uh, from the film. So welcome guys, thank you so much for being here. It's great to see you all. So why don't we go, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourself and maybe tell us uh, where you are and your role in the film and, and your name. Okay, then I'm starting. Uh, my name is Damir Lukacevic. I'm the director of the film Wet Dog and I'm very happy that our film was chosen and was screened here in San Francisco. Thank you, Damir. Nice meeting you. Hello, my name is Mohamed and yeah, I'm an actor in the film nice. Wet Dog. <laughs> yeah. Nice meeting you, Mohamed. So hi, my name is Dada Dilber. I'm 20 years old. I live in Berlin. Um, I played in the movie A Wet Dog, Selma, and it's nice to meet you all. Hi, uh, hi Daria. I want to call you hi. Selma, but no, Daria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my name is Duan Taudaya. I'm also 20 years old, and I play the role of uh, Sohail in this movie, A Wet Dog. And yeah, I'm happy to be here. Nice, nice to meet you and nice to, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing about the making of the film, Duhan and everyone else. So thank you guys. I know you're tuning in from Berlin and, and, and Prague. So a lot of different places in this very hot European summer. <laughs> so thank you for uh, sitting in front of a computer to tell us about your, your, your film. So I wanna start by asking uh, a couple of more generic questions to Damir, um, and then we'll kind of open the conversations to, to the actors. Uh, everyone is welcome to chime in at any point. So Damir, I wanna uh, ask you if you can tell us a bit about your inspiration for the film and, and the making of the film just the general story about it. Um, yes, the film was inspired and is actually based on, a, on a, the book of Arie Schalika and his life in Berlin. The book is called A Wet Dog is Better Than a Dry Jew. And um, Arie's parents came from the Iran to Germany and Arie spent his whole um, childhood in Berlin, in Berlin Wedding, which is a district very much foreigners, a lot of Muslim, a lot of Muslim people with uh, Turkish or Arab background. And uh, they didn't know at the beginning that he was Jewish. And uh, he had, he had um, there were Muslim um, people who were against him and anti-Semitic, but there were also friends of him who were Muslims so, and who helped him and protected him. And it was only for them important, his character. And I read his book and I talked to Ari, I met him personally and told him about my interest. And I thought it was a, a great story with a big conflict, which takes place in a much smaller setting between young people here in Germany and Berlin. Nice, interesting. So it has kind of a literary source that you adapted. Was it, did you find it kind of a, a book with a very, cinematic approach or did you have to do a lot of the work to create the characters and the, and the settings? Both. Uh, we created we created a, a lot because um, I think there were a lot of la cinematic layers within, but I talked a lot to Arya 
he came from Israel where he lives now uh, mm -hmm. to, to Berlin to show me the places where the action took place. He introduced me to his Turkish and Arab friends and uh, to his family, to his father. And I, I thought from, from a lot of point of views, also the, 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 the wedding, uh, what you've seen is a, uh -huh. a wedding is a very interesting part of Berlin, not that much shown in, in, in uh, Germany, the German films. And for me, it was something like, you know, the old Italian neorealistic movies where you have like in uh, Bicycle Thieves, for example, Rome, the very important for, for the film. So that was wedding for me and for the cameraman and, and also, I liked the fights, the fight choreography. We worked a lot on the, on the fight choreography. The actors can tell you maybe later. Yeah. So the music and 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 also for me it was interesting and challenging to work with young actors who had some experience but not that much. And some of them were the first time in, in front of a camera. And so there were a lot of aspects that I liked. And of course, also that was the starting point, the political. Uh -huh. uh, I think which is um, more friendship between Muslim and, and Jewish. Is it possible? It was possible. And I think it still is possible. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I was I was reading about wedding after watching the the film and learning about this area of Berlin, which seems really vibrant and, and um, yeah, multicultural and, and hip in a way. So it was it was fun to to learn that about. Berlin too. Um, you mentioned the music. I think the soundtrack it's so uh, you know sustains the rhythm of the film so well, and it's so so cool. Did you did you find the music yourself, or the, did the actors help you? How did you? Yeah, thank you. Uh, nice that you liked it. I think in concerning the music, our film has two parts. The first part is has more lightness, so the songs are predominant, and in the second part, the score is more. Um, important because it's more, a more serious part where, where everybody knows that, that Sohail is a Jewish. And um, concerning the songs, um, my I had a music supervisor. We knew that we wanted to have music because it's also a film for young people. But for me, it's also a film for myself. So I, when I chose music, choose music, I look if I like the I like the music myself. And this is uh, purely emotional and subjective, but also it was important that the text of the film, of the music is has a subtext what we want to tell in the film, and um, and also there's a third part of it. We had a lot of musicians who were directly linked to the to to our film. For example, there is one song contributed by um, an actor uh, Omar Antabli who plays a leading role, the character of Fadi, who okay. is a musician himself. Hello. And um, also we had um, Ran Nia, who is a um, musician from Israel, who lives in, in Berlin and who liked the story very much and who could also gave us a song. And um, for example, we had also Elif, which is a Turkish singer here in Berlin, very famous in Germany. And she was in the same high school as Arie. So it was also an aspect that we liked. Nice. Thank you. Um, OK, I want to open it up to, to the actors and <laughs> Yeah, also also starting with a you know generic question. Uh, Damir was mentioning some of you had never been in front of a camera maybe for, for so long or, or at such professional level. So uh, yeah, if anyone wants to start and tell us a bit about the experience of making the film, how much you knew about the story, about wedding. Um, yeah, that just start out like that and then let's see where where you bring us. Um, should I start? Mm -hmm. okay. Sure. Uh, I think it was special in many ways because um, it was my first big feature film and leading role. And for someone who has only done two short films before that and suddenly finds himself on the set of such a big film, it's, it's, it's kind of overwhelming. But at the same time, there was no time to be overwhelmed. And I was just there living in the moment. And I... Uh, I didn't realize what was happening until we finished shooting. And, uh, but I think it was the journey I got to go on with such wonderful people, which made it so special. I mean, I made, I made friends for life through this film. Being there alone was special. And um, it was truly a labor of pure love. We, we loved together, we tried together, we almost did everything together. And um, apart from that, I think 
or apart from that, it wasn't during or after the shoot that we uh, grew together as a family. It was even before we started shooting. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that was the special casting process. And the say at the time, we had to prepare for the film. So we all got to know each other about five months before we started shooting. So one can re uh, really say that the film wouldn't be the way it is if we hadn't gotten along so well and spent so much time together beforehand. And um, the chemistry we developed uh, on and off screen was, was crucial for the film, but also very important to us. And it helped, it helped us to create an atmosphere that allowed us to just let go, to, uh, to live in the moment, to be present, and most of all, to have fun. And um, mm. that Thank for me you. was yeah. so special about this movie. Yeah. Thank you. And I, and I love that you, that you tell us about the, the chemistry. I think it really shows that you guys are friends off screen. It would be really, it would be really hard to recreate that kind of yeah magic of interaction among yeah. people that don't really know each other granted you're all really good actors but um yeah and then there's so much such a roller coaster of friendship and hate and love and and romance yeah. and yeah it's just beautiful yeah. and really Absolutely. sustains the film thank you anyone else wants to share about I, I have i have just uh, one question margarita momo mm -hmm. We can't see you very good because you're in the shade. So oh, really, uh, I don't think I don't know if is. Can you watch Margarita? Is it? Do you have the same impression? When on my on my, on my screen it looks like Momo is in the shade. So I don't know, but it's uh, you have to. Let's do better. Much better. Yeah. Much better. Okay. Much better. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for directing. No, I'm sorry, but <laughs> always I can't out of my skin. And I want Momo to be present in the United States so all the agents can see him and Daria and so on in the best oh. lighting. Maybe it's his strategy to be a bit mysterious, but yeah, ah, thank okay, you. For... <laughs> okay, then go back. Thank you, thank you, Damir. Um, okay, yeah, Mohammed, now that we can see you or Daria, do you want to tell us a bit about the complete yeah. something that Duan was saying? I think we had all an amazing time on set during shooting, even though we started pretty early sometimes and wrapped late, late at night. Mm. It was a little exhausting, but I'm grateful for the experience and take those for me for the future projects. And yeah, as Doan mentioned, it, I think it's because of the casting process, mm. why we are good like, the, like in the movie. Right, right, yeah. It's a good, it's a, it's a successful casting process for, for sure, for sure. What about you? And, and no, uh, just before we move on to Mohamed, Deria, was this your first experience in front of the camera? No, not my first, but it was my first leading role. Okay. So that's why it was really good for me and uh -huh. I have more chances now. Right. Yeah, and, and, and I assume the in a leading role, as you're saying, the times and the nights and the days were, were longer and more tired. Yeah, it was really long sometimes, but it was good, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mohammed, what about you? What do you think? I can just say the same things what uh, Don and Dara says. Um, in the shooting process, we, we found each other. We feel like a family. We're well, a uh, damn peer group. Uh, I mean, Don is one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and I never want to lose him in my whole life. Um, yeah. The, and th this time on, 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 on set and uh, with, with Damir, with, with the, uh, all the actors, it's unforgettable. And, yeah. Good. Yeah, and, and you guys were mentioning before we started recording that you're involved in different projects now. So it's, it's, it's great to know that not only we can enjoy the film, but this was also good for your acting careers and filmmaking careers in, in Damir's case. Um, I want to open up the questions a bit to the themes 
that are in the film before we get to the to the fighting, which of, is of course emblematic of the of the conflict, the contrast that are part of the film. And I'm, I'm curious to know if as young people living in Germany, you had any experience of, of the themes of you know, racism and conflict in the streets and anti-Semitism that uh, Damir and, 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 the, and the book that the film is inspired by um, explains so well. Do you see that tension in your daily life? Do you have an experience of it or was the film uh, kind of new in terms of themes for you? Um, yeah, me again then. Mm -hmm. uh, I must actually say that I've never really been actively confronted with such things, but it shouldn't be specifically just about whether or not I have had the experience when there's people who are exposed to such hatred every single day, including people I know. Mm -hmm. And just because I may not have had as much experience with it, I am absolutely in no way trying to trivialize it because mm -hmm. that, that would be just ignorant and selfish and, and just wrong. So because racism, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, discrimination or hate in any shape or form exists here now, it's happening. It has never stopped happening. That's the hard truth. And it's just terrible what's happening in the world. And I think every single one of us must and should f fight against injustice, especially we in this young age, because we are the future and we have a voice and we should use it because we can have such an impact. Thank and you. only this way we have a chance. Yeah. And um, apart from that, uh, we, we should accept that we should accept the fact that none of us can choose our origin or appearance or nationality or place of birth or name or whatever, because these things should not influence the decision of whether or not um, mm -hmm. to have anything to do with a person. It should simply be, a, simply be about humanity and um, to have to say that over and over again in this modern world we live in is, is, is kind of sad for me. Mm -hmm. And um, and regarding this movie we shot, I, I can only say that I that I hope it will be more than just a motion picture. I hope it will be a peace project. And mm -hmm. I hope that the film will get the attention it deserves because I always say cinema is a powerful and influential art form and a platform that we should use carefully and truthfully. Mm -hmm. And so that I hope we can reach a lot of people and make them work a little bit on on themselves and their prejudices, if they had any before. Thank you. Whatever. This is really p powerful, Duan. Thank you for for saying this so so elegantly because you know a lot of people your age and in the next wave demographic in the U.S., especially in the past couple of years, there's been a lot of active participation. You guys probably heard even from Germany. You know, with the Black Lives Matter movement. Uh, we're recording during Pride Month, so there are a lot of demonstrations and, and, and parades and moments of collective gathering in which people your age are really involved. So yeah. it's good to trace that yeah. you know, connection and, and, and to know at least from how you're talking and what the film expresses that yeah. German youth is active yeah. and, and concerned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. We, are, we are woke, we are just woke. Yeah. Good, good. Deria and, and Mohammed, what's your do you have any anything to add to the themes of the film and your personal life? So since I've been born and raised in Germany, I want uh, I tend to be educated about the history of Jews and what used to happen to them, of course. It was mm -hmm. a horrible time for the Jewish community and what 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 had they had to go through and um, I'm glad that those times have passed. But we still experience a lot of racism and discrimination, whether it's against um, religion, gender, or race. Mm -hmm. But uh, for my personal experience, one time I, ex I experienced um, a really bad thing. I was on the bus, and there was an old lady who uh, looked at me and shaked her head all the time. And I thought it's because of my crop top, because my um, my uh, tummy um, showed a little bit of, um, you got you, I think you I can understand what I say, yes, I'm saying. Of and um, I thought it's because of my crop top, but when um, I um, got off the bus, uh, the lady followed me and hit me with her walking stick and told me that uh, we are too many of us here. 
but mm -hmm. that's kind of sad because it's my home too and it's her home too and I think and I hope that people see that and I think um, this movie shooting this movie meant a lot to me because that um, that more people get aware of the situation and that we need a change yeah yeah thank you that's that's a great I was I was taken by your story um, thinking there was more that's 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 a great example of having to deal you know in in such a mundane daily action like taking the bus with yes with it's a really it's a it's a common action it's mm -hmm. always like that well let's let's hope that lady watches wet dog maybe she recognizes <laughs> you on the poster <laughs> <laughs> the best response you could ever give her, right? Thank you, thank you, Daria. Mohamed, what about you? Anything from your past experience that resonated with making the film? There's many things gonna happen and uh, I was uh, sometimes confronted with racism. Rac mm -hmm. Racism? Racism. racism. Mm -hmm. racism. Uh, but I can tell you a little story. Mm -hmm. And I was 10 years old, and um, I, in that time, I, I can't speak German. And my neighbor was a neo Nazi. Nazi of English. Neo Nazi, Nazi. yes. Yeah, yeah. Neo, my neighbor was a neo Nazi, and um, he leave his dog on me. I had to have a shy glass. And so. And yeah, and I run away, go home, and yeah, this is this that was a little story, but I think um, the problem is not Berlin or Germany or uh, the, this country. I think this problem is gonna the whole world. Mm, uh, yes. Every day, hate and racism gonna happen every day. Uh, it, the different uh, different reasons but same way right if, yeah yeah thank you or because of his of your skin but the question is do you want to run away or do you want to stand and fight for for yourself for for your religion or for your skin for your for your country yeah and thank you guys this, yeah can I also contribute one, one story to Mohammed because this is what he told me, he and his brother Hussein also plays um, a role in the film. Mm -hmm. And um, what is funny, they, they fight against each other, but actually they're brothers. Some people see that, some not because, but anyway, when uh, Mohammed and his family came to Germany, I think you, they came from Lebanon when I, when I'm uh, to, to Germany and you were 10 or 11 and your brother 13. And you were, this is the story you told me. I hope I give it the same, I, I don't um, mistake something. And they were in a bus, uh, in a school bus with oh. 20, 20 other German um, young guys who were from East Germany and racist. And they were- German guys and Russian guys too. Uh, excuse me? Russian guys and German guys. R mm. Russian and German, and, but we have to say not all Germans, not all Russians are racist. But in this case, th this was the case, and uh, and uh, they were discriminated by the by the other guys. And you were fighting against them, you two against twenty others, <laughs> and you were beating them up. And then you came to the director of the school, and you took the to the you were punished, and not the other guys. Mm. Wow, that's that's a powerful story. That, that was a good training for the for the film too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he got the part. <laughs> Thanks for that story. Um, thank you, thank you for, for sharing uh, Damir and, and, and Mohammed. So one last question for the actors because we've been talking about fighting, so it could be that, but I'm, or, or something else. I'm, I'm, I wonder if there was any memorable scene to shoot or anything that you had to do that was kind of beyond your range of, of acting skills or, or general skills. And maybe Damir, if you want to tell us a scene that was particularly challenging or improvised, just something fun in the film that happened. I'm sure you guys had some good times. So my scene, which is 
really stuck in my mind is the wedding scene <laughs> because it felt really real especially mm -hmm. because of the arabic arabic musicians and the people in the background so the background actors and i think it's because of the good celebration mood mm -hmm. which uh, the people br brought to us uh -huh. and then uh, the other scene is where am i allowed to speak To spoiler, yeah, yes. Yeah, people yes. have watched the film. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then the scene uh, where Sohail comes into the shisha bar and tells that he's Jewish. This was also a very emotional and hard mm. day. Mm. Wow, so a very joyful scene. Like you feel you were actually married. Yeah. To... <laughs> married, but it was really, it was my my heart started to. Um, beat fast yes beat fast because of the musicians and it felt so real and uh, also momo told me on the day he was like oh i'm feeling like i'm i'm really <laughs> have a wedding right now <laughs> yeah mm, that's good and for us too it's a, it's a you know unexpected scene in a way so yes. and then the emotions of that confession which is one of the high points of the film definitely oh yeah okay. thank you thank you yeah uh Yeah, I'll make it short and sweet. Uh, I would say everything, every single day, every single scene and every single sunrise and su sunset I was able to witness. I still mm -hmm. remember them all. And I think it's very hard to pick a moment because I just love being on set and being in front of the camera, but also behind the camera. And I always say the worst day on set is better than a good day somewhere else. And that's mm -hmm. what I always say. So, so you everything. found your thing. You found your thing. Yeah, though. absolutely. <laughs> What about you, Mohamed or Damir? Do you want to share anything? I, my, my favorite scene or my favorite shoot day was uh, my last day, my last shoot day. And uh, I, I tried to, to uh, def defend, defend uh, Sohail. Mm -hmm. I tried to defend Sohail from the People they hate him, and they say something like, uh, "We are, we are all the same. It's not not because of the religion. We are all the same. I'm Muslim. He is huge, and he's I don't know, but we we are we are <clears throat> all not because of the Islam. Tell the German. Tell the German. I will translate it. Also wir, wir waren halt, wir sind alle halt hier unbeliebt so quasi, allein schon, dass wir Ausländer sind. We are, we are all outsiders because we're foreigners, so we should stick together as foreigners and not, and mm. not hate each other. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was a remarkable scene for sure. And, and I assume the emotion of being the last two days of shooting, everything feels a bit more real and definitive. As a, as a director, of course, uh, every shooting day is very important. Uh, even every shot is important because if it's not good, you can throw it away from of the film and th that's not good. But there's one uh, shooting day that I remember which stuck to my mind is uh, the day when, which is also maybe the most important scene in the film is when the character of Dohan Sohail tells his friends that he's Jewish and he tells the saying, uh, red dog is better than a, mm -hmm. than a dry Jew, where God comes from. And um, if, you, if you watch the film, you see how everybody is hostile against him when he tells that. But when Dohan played the scene, he was so emotional. And after when I said cut, everybody went to him and hugged him and it, it took him as it, they were so, it was so, Emotional. I liked it very much because here are the you know the hostile Muslims, and then after the cut, he was like friend again. And mm. this transition between those that's, that was very impressive for me. Mm, wow, that yeah. adds a lot to to the scene as spectators. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, I think we're um, getting to the end of our conversation. Uh, just curious, you know, if there is anything. Uh, Damir or, or the actors that you'd like to to share with the community. JFI is really trying to, to, to create community and, and a sense of belonging and also open dialogue and communication through movies and conversations. So if there's any 
thing maybe you have left out so far, uh, a message that the film expresses that you want to leave our, our audience with uh, today or tell us anything about what's next that, um, that could kind of complete the message of the film in a way. For me, uh, no, sorry, Tohan. No, 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 it's all good. Mm -hmm. After you. There's one thing that was very interesting and very appealing for me when I read the book the first time, and also because I'm not I'm not Jewish, but um, I um, is that when Arya came to wedding um, with his parents, and he has black hair and brown eyes, and he came from Iran, so everybody thought he was. Muslim and they took him into his community and he was friends with them and they liked his character and this was crucial. And then when they um, experienced, realized that he's Jewish, for some people, for some people it changed and he became an enemy just, mm. his character was always the same, but he became an enemy just because he was Jewish. And for others, the character was uh, the most important part and my personal, approach to the story is um, I come I come come from Croatia from the former Yugoslavia and we had in the 1990s this this terrible war where overnight you um, um, had this war and people were judged and condemned even though we have the same culture and we look the same and we were married and, and we're friends and so um, this reminded me very much of, of, uh, of the story of Arya. This, this was my personal approach to it because it's still very important to just to see the character of somebody and not his origin or his religion. And I think this is, this is not only Jewish and Muslim, it's, it's, it's you know, on, on a, lot of, a lot of different parts of the world. And of course, it's a fight and I hope we can, we can, we can win somehow this fight. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Damir, for your words. And yeah, what I wanted to say was, um, yeah, just like I said, I hope this will be more than just a motion picture. I hope this will be a peace project. And <clears throat> apart from that, because I have a friend who's Jewish and uh, unfortunately was confronted with such, such a rejection himself. Um, what I want to sell to the people, what I want to tell to the people is, um, me and I, we, we talked a lot about this issue and exchanged ideas. We also went to a synagogue together. We, he told me a lot about the Jewish tradition and culture, and I told him about mine. And But I think that's something we should all do, to share, to communicate, to be open, to feel free to ask, and to feel free to answer, just to create clarity. And because I don't only think that miscommunication leads to complications, but no communication at all, too. And I think that's a decent way to start from. And um, regarding the internal doubt of Sohail of the character I play, I think that's what Sohail is going through in this film. Towards the end of the film, he starts to, to reflect on everything he has experienced so far. He starts to understand and to question what is right, what is wrong. And pain, doubt, and disappointment are part of this experience. So he realizes that at some point in life, he has to stand by himself, find, find himself, be true to himself and to accept himself. And this also includes finding his place in life and fighting for what's important in life, no matter what that may be. But this is exactly what Suhail is learning and putting into practice. And, um, yeah. But this is a journey we all have to go through in life, especially at these young ages. I am also on this path. I am also far from being the artist I want to be and far from being the person I want to be. But I'm trying. I'm trying to become the best version of myself every single day. But that's a process and um, I think we all should do. Thank you. Thank you, Duan. Any any closing word, Darion or Mohamed, or we we leave it here? Leave it here. I think leave everything has been said, said. Yeah. So thank you so much, uh, Mohamed, Damir, Duan, Deria, for being here. Uh, thank you for making this film and for, for joining us today uh, in this conversation. We look forward to seeing where, where the film goes and where your careers and, and next future work goes. So. Uh, I feel really lucky to have had this time with you guys and I'm sure our audience 
feels the same way. And I also want to thank everyone for tuning in today. Uh, we hope you enjoy more of our films and conversation uh, at this summer edition of the festival and wish you all a really uh, great rest of your day or of your night depending on when you're watching so thank you so much and see you soon for uh, more films and conversations about jewish uh, culture and, and and art and and life thank you <laughs>